Good evening, sports fans. I'm Ash Wallman. Today in Georgetown, Texas, was the state Final Four for boys' soccer. The Divide Conquistadores reached the Final Four and are looking to win the school's first title since 2008. Today, it was Del Valle taking on Far Valley View with a spot in the title game up for grabs. Here we go. This was a good one. Valley View in the first is on the attack. And check out the great save made here by Diego Garcia. We'll have plenty more from him in just a moment because Valley View from here off the free kick appears to have a goal, but the rest blow the whistle. Take another look offside. So at the half, game would be scoreless. In the second half, it was the Diego Garcia show making save after save. Slow-mo that one. How about that one? Gets the hand on it. Keep it 0-0. Now later in the game, Del Valle off the free kick with less than 20 minutes to go. Javier Overa just can't get it in the net. We are still scoreless, but then five minutes left in the game. This one from about Las Cruces. How do you like them apples? Pink Arturo Pignon with the game winner off his right foot. That was the game winner, and Del Valle won 1-0 over Valley View. And now our coverage on Del Valle continues, but from San Antonio, where Paul Cicala is standing by, and the only local TV reporter covering both Del Valle and Austin No Doubt Trout this weekend. And Paul, but first, let's talk about soccer. What a win today for Del Valle. Big win, my friend, and as you could tell, that's the Alamo right behind me. We are live in San Antonio, Texas, as we speak. We just took the two-hour drive from the Austin area to be here in San Antonio. We'll tell you why we're in front of the Alamo in just a bit. But back to the Del Valle High School soccer team and their big victory this afternoon. And, of course, after their win, we caught up with players and coaches. It's awesome. It's a great feeling. You know, these boys have been down here now five times, and hopefully we'll get this uh, third championship for them. Now you made some pretty spectacular saves down the stretch. Uh, talk about pitching a shutout. Yeah, I mean, like, I always talk to the teammates before. I got your back, and then you try to score the goals. I'll be there. Just the relief. We got it for now. We just got to hold it up and keep see if it goes right for us, and it did. We coddled the time, how they say, slow everything down buy some time and hope for the win. You know, the kids, like they've been doing all year, they, they fought through it and, and we got a good opportunity on a, a normal goal instead of a PK. Next up for Del Valle, Waco University High School on Saturday in the Austin area. Of course, we will be traveling back from here in San Antonio to Austin to cover Del Valle. And the reason why we're here in San Antonio is for the big fight between Austin, no doubt, Trout and Saul Canelo Alvarez. Of course, the weigh-in will be right here in downtown San Antonio tomorrow. We at KVIA will be with Austin Trout and Saul Canelo every step of the way. And of course, the big fight is on Saturday at the Alamo Dome. And in the morning, we're going to drive to Austin to cover the Del Valle High School soccer team as well. So we're going to be going back and forth and co providing coverage you will only see on KVIA ABC7. Reporting live from in front of the Alamo here in San Antonio, Paul Cicala, ABC7. Thanks a lot, Paul. I tell him to go see the Alamo, but I don't know when he's going to fit it in. But all right, there's some football news now. And this evening, the NFL released its 2013 NFL schedule for all teams. So let's take a look at what will be some of the big weeks this year for Tony Romo and the boys. Mark your calendars, Cowboy fans. Dallas will open the year against New York, the New York Giants on Sunday night football, September the 8th. On October 6th, Peyton Manning and the Broncos will come to Big D. Should be a good one. On Thanksgiving night, the Raiders will play Cowboys. Thanksgiving Raiders, Cowboys, how cool is that? And to close out the year, Dallas will face the Eagles on December 29th, the last two years, the final game of the year. Uh, excuse me, the, last, the final game of the year for the Cowboys has been a do-or-die game, and well, I think we all know what happened there. Now, last Saturday, NMSU football player Miles Washington suffered a serious neck injury and was airlifted to the hospital. He had surgery done on his neck, but how he's been doing and how he's, how he's been doing, and the family's been keeping that private, though, after the Aggie spring practice this morning, Coach Doug Martin passed along a message from Miles' father to the team. You know, Miles' dad grabbed me and, and said, Coach, you talk to those players about playing hard, playing fast, playing physical. That's the way Miles would want them to play. Uh, and his father sent that message here, and I gave that message to the rest of the team, and they've responded to that. And, uh, and they understand that Miles is a football player, I mean, a good football player. And uh, he would want them to go out here and play hard, and that's what we're going to do. And it's some good news now, and it comes from the tennis courts and from four tennis players over at Fort Hancock High School. Congrats to Fort Hancock High, who's sending the top two teams from their regional to the state tournament for mixed doubles. Joshua Gomez and Cassandra Haywood came in first, and in second, Ernie Sanchez and Alexis Carrillo came in second. So Fort Hancock definitely dominated. Best of luck to all those players. Also, Coronado just missed out on states for golf. That'll do for sports. We'll be right back after this.